Hi, I'm Arif Mohammed from CIO Magazine. Today I'm talking to Donald McLaughlin from Cisco and Chris Nunn from Dimension Data about pervasive video. Chris and Donald, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. So the benefits of video conferencing are pretty much uh, clear to CIOs with things like um, reduction in y your business travel costs and improved productivity. But would it be fair to say that there's further potential for video conferencing and telepresence to be better exploited in the enterprise? And if so, how do they do it? Definitely, Arif. I think traditionally that video conferencing and immersive telepresence have been run as two separate infrastructures. So traditionally, video conferencing was for the wider business, but immersive TP was kind of reserved for the executives that actually needed uh, to have those face-to-face -face, um, calls at a very, very high level of quality. What we're seeing now is, is those infrastructures coming together um, and obviously with the advent of cloud and the ability to actually start consuming some of those services rather, rather than just pay for all of the infrastructure up front, that provides a lot more flexibility from customers in terms of, of how they use that model and how they pay for it. Great. So same question for you, Donald, really, which is how can you exploit the technology? Yeah, I think the opportunity we have is to, is to be able to deliver a, a more consistent experience across the organisation, to, to Chris's point. So rather than seeing them as separate areas of, of, of unified comms or collaboration, to actually see them as a more uh, holistic strategy for the business, if you will. And I think that's where we can better exploit it and get a much better return. Great. The next question, pervasive video is a term that's been used quite a lot recently. How do you define it? Yeah, pervasive video uh, for me is about making it available to everyone. And by everyone, I mean everyone within an organisation, but also to businesses of, of all sizes, uh, which is important, because it's then we get the opportunity to actually tie in a whole supply chain and, and, and really drive some significant efficiency and productivity savings. Great. Similar question, Chris. How can businesses make use of pervasive video across their organisations? Well, I think the great thing today, Arif, is that so many employees are actually using video in their personal life. You've only got to walk into a high street bank and see um, pervasive video on the screens in front of you, advertising new products and services. So, you know, the generation that's coming into the workforce today are used to using it as part of their day-to-day -day lives. I think the other thing as well that we're seeing from clients uh, in this space is actually making video a core part of their workplace of the future strategy. So, you know, corporate real estate is one of the most expensive costs that a, custom, a company has to actually deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. If they can reduce that but give uh, give their employees the flexibility to work where they want and when they want and the tools and the technology to actually enable them to do their job better and smarter, then that really adds significant value and cost savings to them. And really the CIO should be at the core of helping shape what that strategy looks like. I guess along similar lines, um, how can CIOs maximise the investment they've um, previously made to improve usage and adoption? Um, Chris? So I think usage and adoption has always been one of the biggest challenges with video. Um, within the industry we have this, uh, this famous saying about the golden two minutes, which is if you go into a video meeting room and that, vi that meeting is not working and you can't see everybody within that time, then people traditionally don't want to use it again. They have a poor experience and they'll go back to using more expensive audio conferencing uh, costs rather than using the investment that they've made in their video conferencing platform. So driving usage and adoption is, is really an ongoing program to make sure that, number one, the employees can get the best and understand how to use the video solutions that are deployed, but also um, how they can extend beyond um, just using it for face-to-face -face and using it for sharing content and information and other things as well. Great. So, um, Donald, how can, uh, same question really, usage and adoption, how can CIOs help to improve these things? Yeah, well, I think it's about delivering a consistent experience across the organisation. As, as Chris mentioned earlier, it was previously the domain of the executives, you know, they had access to the, the cool stuff. Um, and I think what we have now is a, a, an opportunity to make that experience available uh, to everybody, you know, in every room, every desk, every pocket and, and every app. And, and it means that, you know, the whole organisation can, can participate on a kind of even playing field in terms of what's available to them. And I think that's a big opportunity we have. So, Donald, pervasive video, what's the next step for the CIO? Well, I think there's two, two key roles for the CIO to play. One is to continue to strongly reinforce the business benefits of, of driving pervasive video. And I think the second one is to, is to really lead and drive the cultural change within the business, which is where we're going to see the real impact. Thank you, Donald. So, Chris, what's the next step for the CIO when it comes to pervasive video? Well, as, as we said earlier, Arif, I think, I think looking at, at all the options available on the market today, and particularly considering some of the benefits uh, from a consumption perspective that, that, that cloud can offer to, to an enterprise, 
I mean, the other thing that I'd add as well is that Dimension Data and Cisco, who have got a very long-standing partnership in this space, have actually built uh, a flexible telepresence as a service model, which actually helps organisations really deliver the benefits and the ROI to their business around these kind of solutions. Thank you so much for your time, Donald and Chris. Thank you. You've been watching a CIO Magazine video with Dimension Data and Cisco about pervasive video.